Hey everybody, this is American Nana. So, I, as I told y'all in my last video, if you watched it, there was something that was just driving me crazy regarding Lally. And I'm going to show you a little clip, and this is where he's arguing to the judge. He's arguing a motion before the judge to have a portion of Karen Reed played after she was arrested second time. Now, I want you to listen very closely to what Lally tells the judge she's gonna hear on this video. Listen real close, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I might have to tell you, you may want to go back and take notes regarding what Lally is stating Karen Reed said when she was arrested. And Bukaki was apparently, supposedly, telling her, I guess, to remain silent, basically. You know, Lally had to add that in, as, and you can see his smart aleckness, but please, if you didn't get it, I want you to go back and I want you to listen very carefully to what Lally says Karen Reed is going to say on this video. I'll be back after this video. So, if you don't know what he alleges that she's gonna say, go back now and listen because now comes the video that he wants to have admitted into court. So, Your Honor, this is in reference to uh, the defendant's arrest post-indictment uh, by the grand jury in this case. So it was June 9th, 2022. So that's why I have not seen the video itself. Correct. And, and that's certainly something that the Commonwealth uh, can, can provide for the court. But uh, essentially, when she's arrested and uh, during the booking process at the Milton State Police Barracks, um, the troopers who... Uh, conducted that arrest uh, were wearing a uh, body-worn camera um, pursuant to their, their BWC policy uh, with the state police. Um, council has a copy of the policy, council has a copy of the video, and essentially there are a number of different statements which provide sort of um, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I'm not sure what number we're up to at this point uh, of sort of varying accounts that the defendant has provided to Can numerous Can you give people. me an idea now? Do you, do you know the substance? So the substance of these particular statements uh, is uh, the defendant, Ms. Reed, uh, continuously uh, is told by Sergeant Buchanan uh, to essentially stop talking. He's advised her over Miranda and advised her to, to stop making statements uh, and repeatedly states that to her during the course of her making statements. Uh, but the sum and substance of it uh, is she says something to the effect of, you know, are you in on the joke? Uh, and then makes some sort of reference uh, to having witnessed Brian Albert and Colin Albert uh, essentially smashed John O'Keefe's head into the taillight, indicating that that's how her taillight was broken. Um, doesn't make any sort of further statements about why she would then leave the scene after that occurred or anything like that. Uh, but these are, again, uh, different accounts uh, that have been made uh, in direct variance to prior statements that she made January 29th uh, to the troopers, to paramedics, to treating medical professionals, to Ms. Roberts, to Ms. McCabe, to uh, the niece of Mr. O'Keefe, to a whole other sort of uh, slew and variety of, of people with a different sort of uh, variation on what transpired uh, each time. Uh, so it's sort of inextricably intertwined uh, with the fact that she's in custody. I, how, I, how so? Is she in handcuffs? Is she in a she's cell? She's seated at the, uh, the booking desk or the booking rail in the state police barracks. Uh, so, I, I mean, I don't need to make direct reference to it. I, it's just, again, it's something out of abundance of caution based on sort of where it is and when it is that the statements are made uh, that 
it may naturally sort of come out as far as it, if the court wishes. I, I think it's something that the court can can cure uh, by issuing a curative instruction uh, if there's any prejudice to be suffered by the defendant. Uh, but again, um, it is a statement by the defendant, which is admissible as the court is well aware. Uh, and then uh, it is sort of in the confines or in the context of her being in custody when she makes that statement. I certainly wouldn't be trying to elicit testimony that she was in custody, but it, it's, it is kind of apparent that she is. Uh, can you have that here for this afternoon? Uh, yes, I, I can arrange for that. So we can see it? Sure. All right, what's the... Okay, so... I just want to make sure that when you listen to this part, I know, I know, y'all forgive me, but Lally is, and I have to keep looking, I mean, he, he can, you know, he can mess up anything, can't he? So, um, I just, I just want you to know that Lally says, he did hear a portion of it correctly, apparently. Are you in on the joke? Then, now this is him saying what Karen Reed is going to say. So it says, are you in on the joke? And then made some sort of reference to witnessing Brian Albert and Colin Albert essentially smash John O'Keefe's head into the taillight. And that's how it was cracked or broken. And, and then he said, why she would leave the scene after something like that happened, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I got all my mess over here. I got my iPad and everything. Okay, so now y'all have seen what Lally says she's going to say. Heard my reaction to it. Now we're going to play the video. I want you to listen to what Karen Reed says in this video. The only portion that Lally got correct in his statement was when she said we're something about, how did he put it? He said, um, we're in on the same joke. Is that what he said? See, I'm getting tired. Yeah. Are you in on the joke? Something like that. And then whatever else he said. Now, here's a video. Let's listen to Karen read herself and see if what Lally said was true. So we left at the, the house, the back door, we just did the, the knock and lock. Okay. Um, can you explain to me what the process is right now? Absolutely. So you're going to be uh, booked just like last time. Uh, go through the same process. It's going to be a little less uh, time consuming because we're not going to do major case prints because we did those last time. Um, once you're booked and you go through this portion of it, we'll uh, let you make a phone call just like last time. We'll make a phone call. Uh, your parents will be able to bring you whatever other well, additional, additional needs, uh, things that you need. Yeah. And then. Um, and then tomorrow morning, um, you'll go and be arraigned at Norfolk Superior Court on the charges that were. I'm sure you'll go over the charges again when you're on the warrant. But I'm on bail, so how can I be yeah, spending I'll, the night here again? All right, so I'll explain that portion to you as long as it's not going to interfere with you. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ram to. Okay. So, um, initially, your arrest was on probable cause out of uh, the district court, okay? So, the charges that you were arrested on initially were out of district court, out of Silver District. That's where the arena was. It was, it was uh, district uh, level charges. Um, today, grand jury indicted you on these charges, which is second degree murder, lethal uh, homicide, and um, leaving the scene of a death. Okay, 
So those are the charges that grand jury invented in the So now you're being charged and will be arraigned in Superior Court, Norfolk County Superior Court in Delaware. Okay? So bail doesn't apply anymore? Uh, typically, I, I'm not, so we don't set the bail. But typically, once murder comes into play, people are going to get bailed out. So it's not manslaughter anymore. No. Is that the difference? That's correct. It's a higher degree of taking a life. Okay, so those, that's the charges that you're being charged with now. And you were indicted by grand jury. Okay, you're aware he was beaten up by Brian and Colin Albert. I mean, it, uh, we're all in on the same joke, right? My tail light was cracked and jaws was pulverized. Okay, you you need to uh, abide by the, the the rights that were afforded to you. Okay, so uh, you can you can talk if you want. If you want to talk, tell us what happened, that's fine. We'll listen, but you were ready to do your rights, okay? And, and I'm sure he's going to do it again. All right. If you want to talk to us, you want to give us give us um, a story. Definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll take. No, it. I don't. I mean, I know you already know the story, so I don't need to. All right. Um, how long is the entire tape? Okay. So, I'm just curious. Is he fabricating? Or just outright lying? Or is he just the dumbest rock in the field? I'm going to go with my last option. You guys pick yours. I'm okay with whatever you decide. So, I heard Karen Reed ask him to explain the process. Uh, apparently, she was confused because she was out on bail and uh, has been arrested again. So, anyone would be confused and she was asking questions about that and I'm sure I would too and uh, I believe it was right after Dimwit told her 90 degrees or something like that because of murder 90 degrees isn't that what he said 90 degrees I thought that was 90 degrees of separation whatever that is I don't know but I've heard that at 90 degrees of something, murder. <laughs> you probably won't get bail. And then I, who am deaf, with my earbuds in and the volume turned up, listening to it one time, I heard Karen Reed say, you're aware he was beaten up by Brian and Colin Albert. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear her say that? And then she said, we're all in on the same joke, right? My tail light was cracked and John was pulverized. And Lally wants to call those her accounts her accounts of what happened. And, and he also stated that the reason he needs to be able to put that in there is because of all her various statements, the things that she said to uh, Jen McCabe, who you can't believe as far as you throw, Carrie Roberts, I didn't, I mean, she seem to say I guess um, I don't know about who said something about a plow hitting him or I don't know whoever said that because I don't think that ever came up but um, no it did I just don't remember anybody even messing with that conversation but the thing is Lally I'm a lay person, right? Is that what you would call me? I mean, 
I, believe you me, I grew up in a hard knocks. But, I'm getting chewed up by mosquitoes out here. But you, you're just, you're just a liar. You're, you're simply just a liar. And, and on top of that, you presented this to, to Bev, and I, I know we heard a portion of it in, in, in court. I can't remember if we saw a video. It really didn't matter to me because to me, you've proven one thing. <laughs> Nothing you say can ever be believed. No wonder these juries want protection. They need it from you. Wouldn't doubt it, right? I mean, I have my opinions on all kinds of things when it comes to Lowley. I'll be sharing them along the way. But for some reason, folks, I couldn't let that one just go. It's been just, I don't know. It, it's been just unreal the snarkiness and the amount of things that I want to say, trying to not curse. But that was in the motions. He flat out said what she said. And even if you take it in a roundabout way, so you don't, you know, you're not like gonna hold him to words verbatim, but you would hold him to the correct meaning. It, it, and he's apparently dumber than an ox. You know, you know what? He's dumber than a rock, he really is. I mean, an ox, I think is smart enough to get out of the way when the, when the bigger thing is coming at them like truth. But why should Lally care? Apparently, that's just the way it's done in the good old Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Y'all live in the United States of America and act like you're in your own little country out there. Somebody needs to reel y'all's asses back in. People in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, my husband helped me say that over and over the other day so I could say it. I've said it before, but I think I'll just say mass. But I mean, you know, I hate to break this to you, Lally. And even you, Bev. I mean, I'm sorry to have to break this to you guys because I know that y'all think y'all are above the laws or that y'all are the laws or that the laws are written for everybody except y'all. But everybody has constitutional rights. Y'all just keep on stomping on on Karen Reed's rights. Go ahead, keep on. Lally, the reason Karen said so many different things is, let me spell it out for you, dude. She's, she's got no idea. She has no idea. She can't tell you what happened to him. And because you're dumber than a rock, you. You know, you just keep on, anytime she says something, oh, that's that's her account of what happened. You ever heard the word smart ass? Well, I'm a country smart ass. Karen Reed, she's a real refined smart ass. And that's what she was being you dumbass. So, I think I've said just about everything I needed to say on that, but, you know, can we just stop the lying? Just stop lying, Lally. It's not very becoming. 
We already know not to trust you further than I can spit. And I don't spit. I would say further than I can see, but I can see quite a ways. I just, I just can't believe this monkey show going on in the United States. I mean, I have a real problem with it. I really, I really do. I, 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 I'm like, do we, do we actually have a group of people that think they're above everybody else in America? Sure we do. They're spread out everywhere. Look down on everybody. But an entire state? We're just the good old boys. If you related, if you if you're inbred, if you're whatever it is you is, y'all are good. Y'all are good. Y'all are golden. Well, guess what? They're trying to change that. We welcome you to the United States of America. We really do. We'd like to see y'all all benefit by your own rights and freedoms. And if the good old boys would just move on down the road, they could take it themselves to the next gang wannabes, right? Because they just act like a bunch of gangster wannabes. I'm just so, I'm so irate, I'm so irate. But then I'm also so encouraged because this was what? A two or three minute statement you made, listen to her statements, and then just, hey, can pick it the hell apart. And there, to, to me, there's a problem when you can just go right in on something like that and just go crazy. But dude, and you have more motions than Then there are m &Ms. I mean, it was like motion after motion after motion after motion. And hey, you're so lucky. The only two judgments that judge gave that day were in the favor of guess who? That'd be the Commonwealth. In the defense, they didn't have that many motions in lemonade. I hope I said that right. I know it's not in lemonade, but I've heard it said many different ways, so I hope I said it right. But the motions, I'm just, you know, I've watched some of them just over and over because I'm just trying to even grasp a comment. <laughs> so I, I'm going to finish that, but this one. This one needed to be dissected. And for those of you that have already dissected it and think, gee, Nana, you're done. You're like way late. Yeah, I'm way late. <laughs> but I didn't watch any of this stuff before. That's what I keep trying to tell, you know, the haters is, and that's why I said even, even uh, you know, I feel sorry for the O'Keefe family. I do, because if they, uh, how can they believe this? after enough things are pointed out to say this is all a bunch of crap that was made up a story time. I mean, for everything that Lally blames on the defense, so far I've seen him guilty of every last thing he blames them for doing. Not that they're actually doing it, but he wants you to think that's what they're doing. He's just an idiot. So I'm gonna hush now. I've, I've got got all my gray thread done. Did my elephants and my little little critters in the forest type, you know, Bambi and the little rabbit type thing. We done those blankets. Now I'm onto the pink thread. So I will be back. Um, I don't know if it'll be today. Um, when I get on my embroidery machine, I gotta be on the computer and concentrating and stuff. Whoa, that's scary when Nana concentrates. 
anyway, I hope uh, I hope all of y'all have a good day, and I, I hope that uh, hope some of you didn't catch all this before I pointed it out. But if you did, I at least hope you enjoyed my opinion, because as we know, it's just my opinion. So, have a good night. Bye.